Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We are back with our 911 SC. Uh, we're painting it. Uh, it's getting stripped behind us. We're going to go through where we've got to. We've got a bit of a list of parts. And uh, I guess we'll see how bad the rust is. Looking considerably different to the last time you've seen it. No bumpers on at the moment. Doors are taken off. All the glass is out of the car. We've stripped back the corners here so these have actually turned out pretty well there's a bit of um, repair work here it's clearly had a little bit of a bump in its time but I was a little bit worried about the rear fenders you never know what they're going to turn out like and these have actually turned out pretty well the other rear side is looking pretty good as well I've got a little bit here where it's been uh, wire wheeled back to see what it is because there was a lot of bog on it has had a lot of paint in its time I think it might have been painted about 15 times the paint thickness was enormous uh, the doors aren't here because uh, the guys have actually sent the doors off to be blasted just because of the amount of time it would take to actually strip the paint off manually rather than getting it blasted it's probably a couple of hundred bucks to get them blasted and it will probably take you three days to get all the paint off so uh, cost wise it's just good to get them blasted and then we'll do the outside of the doors and we'll strip that um, manually to make sure that everything's okay there was a little bit of rust on the car so I think we identified last time that we've got a few crusty bits up there and what we were a little bit worried about is that we thought this might be a little bit rusty and on the driver's side of this lefty car we do have a little bit of crust down here in the I guess the upper part of the door it doesn't go under the carpet and we pulled the foam off there it's a bit more foam as we pulled it off this morning so that needs replacing and the guy sent me a photo I actually thought it was a lot worse than it was because I actually didn't realize that was foam and I actually thought that was rust enough I, I was horrified and then when I came down this morning it isn't that bad this is probably the worst bit all up here that is particularly crusty so that needs um, that's probably the worst bit of the car to be perfectly honest with you so we need to get that fixed round the passenger side this is exactly where we thought we would have a little bit of rust you could tell as the paint came down it was thick and a little bit bubbly there the rest of it seems pretty good but in all honesty that isn't really too bad so I'm um, pretty happy with that so far the rear window can be a nightmare to put in these targs um, so he's clearly had the window out at some point when they've repainted it uh, the guys checked it there was grease all over this because they clearly put a new window rubber in and these guys had had a bit of fun as they'd done it a fair few years ago your turn ha 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 I think somebody didn't really enjoy putting the new Targa window back in the car bumpers are all off we're going to get those sorted out um, we'll come to the lights and things in a moment but there she is she is um, being stripped down and looks a little I was going to say a little bit different but she looks a lot different than she has done previously bumpers are off there's some wiring that we need to fix up I think we might get one of the new classic retrofit um, fuse harnesses for that and the same for the rear we're going to paint strip all this out this is all going to be painted black we're not dropping the engine at the moment um, but the plan will be to tidy this up as much as we can paint as much of it black as we can and then when we do some work next on the engine if we have to drop the engine then we'll tidy up the rest of the engine bay but we're not really that's not the priority of probably where we're at at the moment got a problem with the passenger seat that won't move so we need to kind of jimmy that out at the moment because the rust repair and the work that we've got we need to pull the seats out but that's where we're kind of at we've got lights here we need to get new indicators and we are going to get um, new reflectors 
and lights all the way round because we don't want to put old rubbers and old lights on a freshly painted car. I think that would look really bad. I think we are going to get one of the 911 um, night bloomers for the rear instead of the original reflector Porsche reflector but um, we'll probably need to look into the price of those before we order that. We've got a list of parts here. There are a few pages I think we'll be able to see. A few bits and bobs so I think we'll sit with a beer over the weekend and uh, start ordering parts from Pelican Parts and get them shipped over. But we've got a few bits to order there. The most expensive part that we've got to order is for the window winder mechanism. This has just kind of rusted and fallen apart. We're still not too sure actually how the window did actually work because that part there had actually fallen into the door frame and was sat on the bottom of the door. So how that was all kind of still working no ideas we had some problems with the locks we've got a list of parts for those so um probably probably in a month we might be um getting somewhere to perhaps getting it in primer maybe and then i guess we're gonna have to decide what color we're gonna paint the car do we go back to the grand Prix white of the original do we do something uh a little bit different I think it might be sensible to go back to white because we've got the white dials, the seats in the car because they've got like a, um, a tartan kind of houndstooth effect on them. That would be nice still with the white. We've got the white wheels. We could go for the whole 80s style on the car or uh, I've always wanted to paint the 356 ruby stone. We could paint it ruby stone. We could do black as a, a blacked out um, 911. Or did we just go back to the original? Because the, the car is an original, it's a matching numbers car. Do we just keep it original? So there we go, there's a bit of an update on the 911 SC. I guess um, we'll be looking for comments. What color should we paint it? Should we go back to the Grand Prix white, uh, ruby stone? We could do a British racing green, I uh, kind of guess. Uh, what are the options out there? So uh, drop a comment below, let us know what you'd like to see the car painted. Otherwise, we'll keep you updated and hopefully next time you'll kind of see it in primer and there might be a little bit less rust on the car and we'll uh, see how we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later guys, bye.